Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a creative YouTuber that is trying to be a long no by and today I am here with my fourth video in my, yeah it's this I don't know, in my Gloss Gods week but also I just want, yeah, I guess we're going to say Gloss Gods week and if you don't know, the brand Gloss Gods is a Swedish in brand and uh, now when I think about it, maybe I should have taken this in my first video, it's late for that. Oops. But yeah, Gloss God is a Swedish indie brand. I think they are, they're cruelty free, of course, uh, and I think it's vegan as well. I'm not sure. And I have used <laughs> so far these three palettes that is um, collab palettes with Swedish influencers, and I will leave all the videos down in the description, but today I am going to use one of their special effects palettes, Ele effect palettes, and this is Gal on the Moon, it looks like this, so these are multi-chromes, duochromes, shimmers, and just no mattes, and I have been thinking if I should only use this palette or if I should take in something else but I think I will try to only use this palette and I wish so bad that I did film my reaction I swatched this shade gravity I don't know if you can see like maybe we can do the mirror trick uh, no we, yeah can you see up eh, here in the mirror that it's green I did swatch this and my jaw dropped okay i need some coaching with this i need Millie from bed to the brow i guess can i how the hell do you catch a duochrome multichrome i don't know how you do this but it looks amazing just trust me and I'm going to use this today and I did think about a lot what with what but I think I will try to use it together with this Leica uh, and take this like because I want this on a big space on my lid and first I was like maybe I should take a matte black but I actually think that I will try to go in with this Leica and try to like take it out here and then smudge it up in my crease. I have no idea if that's going to work, but I'm going to prime my eyes with the Gloss Gods base, and I'm also going to cut my crease later on with my NYX Glitter Primer, and I am so excited for this, so I just guess that we start. And I did just sneeze before I started to record, and it still, <clears throat> you know when you are having have had it sneeze that won't come out and then it come out and it feels like it's your whole brain <laughs> okay so I'm a little bit afraid about this but I'm going to take like a and we're going to see now if this is going to be a catastrophe catastrophic I don't know because this was I don't think this is possible because this is really really flaky and I guess this is such a bad idea but you know what bad ideas are my middle name I think this is going to be impossible to smudge in my crease but maybe not Okay, I want to see. Now it feels like I have had all the shit. Okay, this abort. This is not going to work. I will continue with this either way. I'm going to try to just pack it on in my crease then. And we will see how this will end up. Maybe this is working. Just that I don't know if I want to go the whole way in. 
because it is really flaky but I think if I just get past the flakiness I can like build it up a little bit and I do not do do not use this as a tutorial because this is me trying out things that is stupid but maybe it works <laughs> I like that I say that it's stupid in the same sentence and say maybe it works do you can you see what I'm doing and I am not looking forward to taking this makeup off because it's going I'm going to specs all over like all over I'm guessing and that I feel like it's something that people never talk about but if you are not used to do you like a lot of shimmer looks or maybe yeah glitter or something like that like specs like this it doesn't matter how hard you try to watch wash your face these are going to be one with your skin and you can like feel at night when you're going to bed that yeah I did get everything off and then you wake up the next morning you don't see anything it still look like you got everything off and then you go to work and yeah you still feel like I got everything off and then at maybe lunch you're going to the toilet or you're going to wash your hands before you're going on lunch and then you see oh I still got pink specks all over my face I just hope it's not only me that has it like that okay I do actually think that this is working I think it looks pretty cool but I don't know what I'm doing and I still am so afraid how I'm going to look when I'm not going to take this off. It likes it stays in every pore you have in pores in all the pores you have in your skin. And you're taking this off. So time for the cutting, and I have so much glitter specks all over my table. So I'm going in with my glitter primer from NYX. And I hope that the brush that I picked for this is going to... Maybe I should take this... Okay. Cutting my crease. And I'm going to do almost a whole cut crease. And okay, it's not... I don't know what kind of brush. I'm going to try with this brush. This is from Hiccup. This is an intense shade. It's just a flat brush. And maybe I should go in with my finger, but I don't like that. Okay, maybe that's a lie. Okay, I don't think this brush, so I'm going in with my Sigma Exact Blend. This is so much fluffier. Yeah, this looks better. The only thing that I've learned with like multi-chromes or even duochromes that you should always if you want like the full effect on it, you should put it almost over your whole lid because then you are getting like the whole spectrum of it because your ear is rounded. Your Did I say your ear? Your eye is rounded. Okay, maybe this isn't... I don't know what I feel about this. I don't know if I feel good about this or if I feel shit and now I had shimmer on my finger and I know I have shimmer on my face. I don't know. Can you like see anything? Um, yeah. <laughs> 
I think that I will cut my other crease off cam, fix my face, and see if I feel better about this then. Maybe I should just have taken the black, matte black instead. I don't know. But I'm going to finish the look and hopefully it will look better and hopefully it will feel better. Uh, so yeah, I will fix everything, this eye and everything, and then I come back. Okay, for this is the finished look, and do you hear my cherry squeaking? I'm getting crazy. For my lower lash, I did actually go in with this, um, making it flawless, 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 and took this licorice, the black one. On my waterline, I did take Insomniac from Colourpop. On my face, I did use my favorite trio, Ombra, Independence, and Ozone. And on my lips, I did take Rapture from Lethal. I was like, what should I take? Should I take a pink? And then I was like, no. A red, dark matte is what I'm going for. So this is the look and I do love this. Okay, no, that was maybe not love it, but I do like it. I do though think that I should have gone in with maybe a black or a really deep gray um instead of this uh, this one because it feels like this look is going to be destroyed it feels like i'm losing glitter specs all the time um so i think this is not going to look good for such a long period of time but this one it looks freaking amazing I don't know if you can see the amazingness, but I can, and I do really, really like it. I, though, like, when I tried to take away my fallouts, I really saw that I have glitter all over my face. And I already now know that I'm going to go crazy later today when I'm taking this off. But yeah, <laughs> I do like this look. I don't, like, I really want to love, like, multi-chromes and duochromes, but I just think I don't. Or I maybe just need to use them more. I don't know. But, yeah, I do really hope that you like this look for tomorrow, which is also going to be the last look. I have the other effects palette that is this one. And I just have to think about what I want to do. I think I might want to do a green look. But like I have to figure out if I should take some matte shades maybe from another palette and now I have <sighs> I have glitter all over my hands as well so everything I touch is getting glitters all over and I think my shirt and just have to remember to not pet the cats and like my table is full full of glitter specks. So yeah, I do like the look but I don't like the hassle about it and I do not <sighs> I don't want to take it off. I want to take it off, but at the same time, I do not. But yeah, I do really hope that you like this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!